Would you like to find out what your top five priorities should be when training a pet Labrador? In this video, I'm going to explain what those five priorities should be and why. My name is Vicky Sharp and I'm the founder of Tales of Success Labrador Training. Our team of Labrador experts work with families to help them develop the best family pets. And our aim is actually to help every single Labrador live their absolute best lives with their human families. As part of that, we wanna tell you what the five priorities should be when you're thinking about training for your new Labrador. First up on our list is recall, because if you can't get your dog to come back to you, it's kind of pointless teaching them anything else. So when you teach your dog recall, we're looking for a reliable recall, something that happens in every setting and every situation. We're looking for a recall that happens quickly. So we don't want your dog to come back to you 10 minutes after you've asked them. We want it to be a nice instantaneous thing. And it's going to give you the confidence that whatever the situation, you can get your dog to return back to you and to safety if you need them. Number two on our list is loose lead or loose leash walking. And that's quite simply where you take your dog for a walk on a lead or a leash. And the idea is that they walk with you. They are not walking you down the street. So as a puppy, they'll be quite happy hanging out with you. But as they get a bit older, a bit more adventurous and a bit more energetic, you can start to see that they, they pull on the lead a little bit more. So from day one, it would be great if you could identify where you would like your dog to walk and really encourage them to be and stay in that position. So for me, when I'm walking my dog, they always know that their place to be is by the left of my leg. That is their place to hang out. And as long as they hang out there, they know that them and I will be interacting, will be enjoying our walk together. And it really does help you make sure that there's no pulling on the lead as they become more energetic and enthusiastic for life. And number three on our list is focus or otherwise described as eye contact. The reason we love focus and eye contact so much is because when a dog is looking at you, they're listening to you. They're ready to take on more instructions or more information that you might give them. And it's also a great way to calm things down if you have an energetic an enthusiastic or a nervous dog, if you ask them to look at you, it means that they stop what they're doing, turn around and give you the full focus, which means that you have their attention, you can start to calm things down a little bit. And those distractions should just pass by in the distance, sometimes without them even noticing. Number four on our list, we've put the ability to get your dog to settle. Lots of you with young Labradors will be wondering, um, is this even possible? Because they're a very energetic breed of dog in their early stages. It is very important that we do encourage them to settle, be calm, to rest, and even to sleep as well. They do need a lot of rest and left to their own devices, they may not uh, choose to settle because they want to be involved in everything. So if we can teach them to settle, it means that they know that when we get their settle mat out and we ask them to settle, they know that their job is to go and lay down, is to rest, to switch their brain off and, and just chill out, go to sleep, have a little rest. And once you're able to teach your dog how to settle, meal times become much easier because you can ask them to settle on their mat while you eat. You can go and sit in a coffee shop with friends without worrying where your dog is because actually they'll be settled on their mat underneath your table. Or even if you just want to go and sit in the park and have a picnic, again, you can take the settle mat with you and your dog will know that their job, although they're in a park, is actually just to settle down, be nice and calm in their place. And number five on our list is to give them a job or a feeling of purpose. Labradors are very, very intelligent and they do need something to do. If we as their humans don't give them a job, 
they will probably go and find their own job. And that can sometimes be destroying furniture. It can sometimes be digging in the garden. So we've got to make sure we're proactive in giving them a job and giving them purpose. It can actually just be that we do specific training with them. We engage their brain. We maybe do a little bit of scent work. We maybe do a bit of man trailing where they're looking for, for people in outdoors environments. Um, you know, it can be as simple as dedicating time each day where we work their brain and we give them that job of learning a new skill or a new task. So those are our five top tips. I would really encourage you to, to put those as your priorities when you're thinking about what you should be doing with your pet Labrador. If you need any more help and support with training or just simply understanding your Labrador a little bit better, Tales of Success provide online training to clients around the world at our online puppy school, online foundation skills program, lead walking programs, and also our scent detection programs, all delivered online to get to as many Labradors around the world as possible. We help new Labrador owners understand their Labradors better by giving up-to-date breed-specific advice and support at our regular webinar learning events as well. So if you're interested in any of those things, you can check us out at talesofsuccess.com.